It is Danny Ricardo, a winner again. Hamilton triumphs! Jensen Button makes it another Australian Grand Prix victory. Max Verstappen, for the first time ever, is champion of the world! Verstappen wins a Formula One Grand Prix! No! Hello everyone! What lies in a pram and wobbles? So, a jelly baby. Welcome to the preview of the Chinese Grand Prix. Today, I'm going to run you through some facts about the race, the history around it, and we're going to have another wild prediction. We have a bonus section this week as well, as we have the return of sprint racers. Controversial topic, but it's here. So, the Shanghai International Circuit has been on the calendar since 2004. So this is technically the 20th anniversary of the Chinese Grand Prix. This should hopefully be a very good return for the Chinese Grand Prix. I'm happy for the people in China to finally have its race back and to see the F1 action in person again. Now, let's talk about the actual track. The track is 5.4 kilometers long. The track has two DRS zones, the track has 16 corners, with the main overtaking spots being turn 6, turn 14 and turn 15. Also don't forget, there's a massive straight towards turn 14, that straight plus DRS is going to be very dangerous for the cars struggling with straight line speed. I'm looking at you, McLaren. <laughs> Mercedes and Aston Martin Good luck! The main race is expected to be 56 laps long So, we all know what that means Yep! It's 56 laps long What else was you expecting? We aren't speaking about Max dominating this week Now, this week I'm calling this section Spirit Race Fingy Wingy Or as it's known in the biz XRDW! Catchy, right? So, this weekend sees the return of sprint races, and this year, they're a little different. This will be the structure for sprint weekends this year. On Fridays, we will have two sessions. The first session will be our one practice session of the weekend. Then our second and final session on Friday will be sprint qualifying. Moving into Saturday, the first session will be the sprint race, with the second session being the qualifying for the big race on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Then on Sunday, 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 we will have our first main race in China since 2019. Woo! Speaking Jeez. about the Chinese Grand Prix, speaking like we had stopped speaking about it, the lap record around this track was set in 2004 by one of the biggest legends of the sport, in Michael Schumacher with a time of 132.238. The driver that has won the most races around China is Nico Hulk. Now it's Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. yeah, we get to mention Lewis Hamilton. Now, because we know how successful it was last weekend, we are going to be doing our ball prediction. So, this week I am going to predict. Drum roll, please. Oh, come on, give me a drum roll. Fine. Right. My prediction is Albon will be in the points. Right, hear me out. That second sector, the Williams will struggle, but the Williams has great straight line speed. So sector three, it will fly through. And there's enough fast corners in sector one that I can see them having enough straight line speed to negate their average cornering speed. So, not as bold my Alpine pick, but I believe it's boldish. And yes, I'm hoping that's a real word. The start times for this weekend are as follows. Friday, practice one will start at 4.30am GMT. Wait. BST. I forgot we changed. Spring qualifying will start at 8:30 a.m. BST on Saturday. The sprint race will start at 4 a.m. BST. Then, 
Qualifying for the main race will start at 8 a.m. BST. Finally, the race on Sunday will start at 8 a.m. BST. Yeah, you got it right. Woo. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Please like and subscribe, and have a good one. I'm out. Bye.